Going to college is complicated enough. You've got classes, scholarships and financial aid, homework and midterms, not to mention a social life as well. Not everyone has the time to become a computer science major. That's where I come in. On Tech Talk with Stuart Marlantis, I'll answer all your tech questions without the complications. Today on Tech Talk with Stuart Marlantis, we'll be talking about laptops. We're a few weeks into fall quarter here at the UW, and I'm sure you've seen tons of laptops both across campus and in class. Maybe you haven't purchased one yet because you're afraid that it wouldn't be worth the money. I can just take notes on paper, right? Or maybe you do have a laptop, but it's old and broken. Regardless, this episode is for you. First question, Mac or PC? Macs are very popular among college students, and for good reason. They're solid and stable, easy to use, look nice, and are very cool. But if there's one downside to Macs, it's the price to performance factor. Just like any brand name clothing, Apple charges a premium for their brand. Another downside to Macs is uniqueness. If you want to stand out in a crowd, don't get a Mac. I've seen hundreds of little glowing apples across campus, but never a laptop like mine. Also, Macs don't offer a lot of choice, as there are only a limited number of models available. So what about PCs? Shopping for a PC can be overwhelming. There are essentially infinite choices in all sizes, shapes, and colors. The price can range anywhere from $200 to many thousands. Because of the number of choices, you can buy a PC based on your usage requirements. Need something indestructible? Buy a ThinkPad. Want something sleek and sexy? Check out the Samsung Series 7, Series 9, or HP Envy. Need good price to performance without sacrificing quality? Try ASUS. There really is something for everyone. And if all you need is just something to take notes on, get a netbook. They're cheap, but they get the job done. For netbooks, again, I'd recommend ASUS. So, get a Mac if you're doing a lot of graphic design work or photo editing, and get a PC if you're just taking notes or want to play a lot of games. But what about tablets? They seem to be all the rage now and are popping up everywhere. But are they powerful enough to tackle a student's workload? We'll answer that question in another episode. Thanks for watching Tech Talk. Questions or comments are much appreciated. Direct both to techtalk at stuartmerlantis.com. Show notes and links to products mentioned in this episode are available on youtube.com slash thedaily. Join us next time on Tech Talk, and we'll answer all your tech questions.